what is up the tube of the U I figured I'd make this video real quick I feel like I start off every video like that I'm gonna hopefully start vlogging soon uh, kinda what I already do now not really vlogging I just kinda talk randomly and record it and then upload it and then nobody watches it but that's how everything starts in life so we shall continue I feel like this is very zoomed in on my phone. I wonder if I can zoom out or not. Let me see. I don't feel like that changed. Yep. But, working on the soup. Um, got the big booty hoe right there with the Lexus. But, uh, playing around with spacers. I ordered some 20 mil spacers. Um, I was hoping to do the back. Um, but want to make this video in case anybody else is doing spacers on their Mark IV. Mark III might be the same, might not. I believe they are. Uh, these are hub-centric. If you're going to get spacers, definitely get hub-centric ones. Um, these were, uh, I think, 40 bucks. Um, 5x114, obviously. Um, 60.1 is the hub size. Um, neighbor is upset. Um, but yeah, 60.1 is the hub size um, for the center board. So that's this portion right here. You want to make sure it locks on there so there's no movement. Um, don't just get universal ones because that's going to be counterintuitive. But um, so as you can see, the fronts fit pretty fine. Uh, maybe like an extra two millimeters. Um, but if you are doing the rears, these are a 20 mil. So. Um, the 20 mil up front, they fit fine. I could probably get away with a 15 depending on the wheel. Um, I have the BBS RG2s on mine, so it's not going to be the same. Every wheel is different on that. But um, the rear studs are a lot longer than the front studs. Um, so these on the rear, I wish I had it off. That would have been a lot smarter. But on the rear, um, the studs probably stick out about five to eight mils more than this i'd say probably about five mils more um so solution to that is get a bigger spacer so if i want to run one in the rear do like a 25 mil kind of make it flush the rear is 18 by 10 plus 50 and the fronts are 18 by 9 plus 42 so um so these will fit fine my rears excuse me technically uh, would fit fine um, if I had different wheels, um, so I, this is very dependent on your wheel setup. Um, so you can see up here, uh, my wheels have this little arch gap, or dimple, whatever you want to call it, in between each spoke. So that will not touch. As you can see, it's like a mill, so it is a lot deeper in the front. As you can see worry about that uh, my rears for example though you can see that dimple uh, I'm trying to see if I can capture it on video so yeah so that dimple there is a lot shallower so the bolts on here and that dimple is right there that little space so if that dimple was the same as this one for example, if I tried putting this 18 by 9 in the rear, I could probably fit it because it has enough back spacing here. Well, it will fit in that hole and not hit. Uh, the front, obviously, I will be perfectly fine because it doesn't even poke out enough for me to worry about. My rear could probably fit in the front. Um, but yeah, so nothing crazy. Just want to do a kind of informative video if anyone's trying to put spacers on their Mark IV. Just be wary. Um, the rear, I would say, is about 15 millimeter, or not 50, I'm sorry. The rear is about 5 millimeter longer than the front. I believe the front is 22 millimeter on the stud, and the rear stock is 30 millimeters long. Uh, obviously, if you get extended studs, such like that, or stuff like that, you can. Um, I might run a little spacer in the rear, but um, yeah. Just a kind of quick update. Um, I got an LS400. It is parked elsewhere. Um, but got that for a steel 
Um, dude was trying to get rid of it ASAP. A lot of cars I buy, I kind of feel like I'm doing due diligence because a lot of the times it's people that are just trying to get rid of them quickly. Uh, moving or stuff like that. Let me throw this on. Oh, fuck. God damn it. My bully exploded. These are bomb. Just saying. It looks gross right now, but... These are low-key life. That is gross. Okay, we're just going to drink that, eat that later. But, Jesus Christ. Anyway. Um, GS300, chilling. I uh, have it up for sale if anyone's interested. 75 OBO, 143k miles. Bone stock, good stuff. All suspension work. Fitment on point, good stuff. I uh, got an LS400. Gonna do pretty much his wheels and coils on, and then uh, maybe exhaust work. Um, Evo's just chilling. Hopefully, be on 85 soon. Just came back from Vegas. Gonna be doing 85 and standalone on this as well. So should be around six, seven hundred horsepower. So always optimistic for low. So if it makes higher, I'll be good. But that is a quick update with El Soup and the other cars. But hopefully gonna start recording more soon. Might be getting another motorcycle and keeping it locked in the garage. So we shall see. But yeah, if you had spacers, 25 mil in the rear and you'll clear your studs. Uh, if your wheels have a lot of back spacing between those arches that I showed, you will be fine. So ignore this video and enjoy your merry way. And yeah, until next time.